Welcome. Let's solve this trigonometry question. We have to prove that the square root of 1 plus sine theta divided by 1 minus sine theta is the same as what? Set, uh, theta plus what? Tan theta. So let's deal with the left hand side. What are we going to do? It is a square root. So we need to be able to see how we can easily manipulate that. But we can also take it as a set whereby we perform the uh, rationalization of the denominator. So let's see. So this is going to be repeating the question. I have 1 plus sine theta 1 minus sine theta. This is what I want to use. I want to prove the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So I'll be using the conjugate pair of the denominator. You know, this will be plus the same as this. So this will now become, okay, let me put it here. The square root of 1 plus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta divided by 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta all under the root you'll be asking what is the conjugate pair the conjugate pair is uh, using the denominator with a difference of a sign this is minus we use the plus so that 1 plus sine theta divided by 1 plus sine theta will cancel the question will come back to original and in the course of this I'll be able to uh, find some identities to relate with sec, quite, sec theta plus what? Tan theta. So let's expand the numerators and the denominators. We are doing this for the denominator become a, perf, uh, a difference of two squares. First term, second term, pl minus plus. You see? So we can use a difference of two squares. So let's see. 1 times 1. 1. 1 times sine theta will become plus sine theta. So this is multiplying this. This is also multiplying this. Right? Then theta times 1 will be plus, I mean, sine squared times 1 will be sine squared. Then the sine squared times sine squared will become two of that. So become plus sine square theta divided by i said in the beginning difference of two square therefore one square minus sine square theta the first term square minus the second term square produces the expansion we are seeing in here so i can see that sine square plus sine square will give me two sine square right no i mean sine theta plus sine theta will give me two of the sine theta so let's simplify the numerator there so the square root of one plus two sine theta then plus sine square theta all divided by one square will still be one minus the sine square theta all right i think we are able to arrive at a different denominator in terms of what we have in the question. But we can also take, uh, think of an identity, okay? You know, if I have sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, that gives me 1, right? So if I make the, the cos squared theta the subject, this will be going there, meaning... The cos squared theta equals to 1 minus what? Sine squared theta. And this is what I am seeing in my denominator. Meaning I'll be replacing the denominator by cos squared theta. By the identity, right? Alright. So let's see what that will be. So now this will become the root of 1 plus 2 sine theta sine squared theta divided by what? cos squared 
Tweet that. I believe so, right? All right. Don't forget the root is covering the two. So it's a fraction within the square root. Now, if I'm looking at the numerator, I can also see a perfect square, trinomial. These are three terms. You can see that if you have 1 plus the sine square theta, all square, if you expand this, you get back the numerator as in there. First one square, twice their product, 2 1 sine square theta plus square the last. Is that it? So if I have that, no, I think this would be only this. Alright. Because if I square the first one, one, twice their product, you can see you square the last. Sine square theta. This will give you the middle. One square is still one. So we can replace the numerator with this very uh, trinomial expansion. So the perfect square expansion. So this becomes the root of 1 plus the sine theta all square divided by the cos square theta. You know, and I said, if I have A over B, I can make it the root of A, the root of B. Right? Good. So now this will become the square root of 1 plus the sine theta all square cos square theta all square. And I believe you can see that this We'll cancel this. This is a square root, okay? It's not a square. It's a square root. So what do we do? We know the square root of this is double of this. Cos theta times cos theta. Give us cos square theta. So if I find the square root of that, it will cancel to give us only uh, the cos theta. Here also cancel. So I'll be having 1 plus sine theta divided by a word cos theta the square will cancel from the square root or the square root will cancel the square right all right now what do we do we are having numerators to be a bi binomial so we can separate them with the same denominator in the sense that i can have one over the cos theta plus the top one will be sine theta over cos theta and I believe this is an inverse identity of set square so this becomes the set I like the square so it is a set theta not set square okay it's a set theta then the identity of sine theta over cos theta also give us tan theta so you can see that we are able to prove the left hand side to be equal to the right hand side so we have proof this statement i believe you followed maybe you can take your time and go through like share and comment bye, -bye.